Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of scan strategy in the case of an edentulous jaw. First, we create our case in the administration phase. Since we want to demonstrate the scan strategy with an edentulous jaw, we select the jaw scan indication, then, for example, the impression tray option. The selected option will automatically be sent to the partner lab with the data that are transmitted. We switch to the next phase, the acquisition phase. With the jaw scan option, three image catalogs are always displayed. The respective jaw should be scanned. The other image catalogs are optional. For our example, we scan the edentulous lower and upper jaw, but first we would like to demonstrate the scan strategy with an outline. The starting point is incisal and we tilt the scanner by approximately 60 degrees in oral direction. Then we scan in one of the two directions, from incisal to distal. We start again incisal, tilt the scanner again approximately by 60 degrees in oral direction and scan the other side. When we have reached the most distal position, we perform an occlusal scan up to the end of the opposing quadrant. Finally, we tilt the scanner by approximately 60 degrees in buckle direction and scan again up to the end of the opposing quadrant. Next, you will see a short video sequence regarding this procedure using the upper jaw. We start incisal and scan oral to distal. We perform the same procedure on the other side. Now we perform the occlusal scan. Finally, we scan the buckle area as explained earlier. Since we scan the upper jaw, we also include the palate. Once the scan is completed, we switch to the model phase so that the final virtual models can be calculated. To transmit your information to your partner lab, you need to switch to the last phase, the connect phase. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with connect.